Welcome to The Tech Show. I'm Sonia Gavankar, and this week we're talking to all you new graduates out there about the best ways to start your work life. And skip the novelty t-shirt. We've got Father's Day covered. All that and much more coming up on The Tech Show. Now it's time for the latest. Two alleged owners of Mugshots.com, Sahar Sarid and Thomas Kesey, have been arrested in South Florida on a recently issued California warrant. The notorious website publishes mugshots and then demands payment for their removal. This pay for removal scheme attempts to profit off of someone else's humiliation, said Attorney General Xavier Becerra in a statement. Those who can't afford to pay into the scheme to have their information removed pay the price when they look for a job, housing, or try to build relationships with others. This is exploitation, plain and simple. In the same statement, Becerra's office said that these defendants extracted more than $64,000 in removal fees from approximately 175 individuals with billing addresses in California. Nationally, the defendants took more than $2 million in removal fees from approximately 5,703 individuals for the same time period. The European Union's new General Data Protection Regulation, otherwise known as GDPR, came into effect just last month, but it seems that some organizations didn't meet the deadlines to comply with the changes. A handful of websites, including those of major news providers, went down in the EU, and they posted notes to readers about the new regulations, most notably Trunk, the publishing company that owns the Los Angeles Times, Chicago Tribune, New York Daily News, and other newspapers, shut down its entire roster of websites for European users. When a visitor navigated to one of those sites, they were met with a note explaining that our website is currently unavailable in most European countries. The GDPR's idea of consent requires a lot more than previous regulations, which means companies will be asking permission to collect your data a lot more often. In concrete terms, that means a lot more click to proceed boxes, although the transparency requirements mean the text inside may be a little clearer than you're used to. But lawyer Shannon Yabrowski told The Verge in response to a question about liability, I get asked all the time, what's the market standard? We just don't know. There haven't been any penalties, so we don't know what the enforcement is going to look like. So do you think that GDPR will really change anything about how your data is collected and used? Do you think the new European Union data protection rules are going to keep your data safer? Or have you guys heard about those at all? I've heard of them. I don't know what, in detail what exactly they're doing. Um, I don't either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no help. I was aware <laughs> that they were taking place, so I don't know. I don't know much about it either, but I've heard that it's the first step, but it won't actually act like enforce any major changes. It'll just, it's the first step in the right direction for personal data protection. Honestly, I think that they're just going to find another way around it. Like, these aren't going to be a permanent change, probably just temporary, and yeah. If this transparency means more pages to read before we check a box, realistically, I don't think we're going to do it. And I don't think it's necessarily fair that we're expected to. Coming up, a gift for the class of 2018. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Over 70 years of experience in heart and aviation, the members of the Association of Flight Attendants know the realities of the aircraft cabin better than anyone. We don't just serve drinks, we save lives. We don't just negotiate contracts, we move major policy issues like the smoking ban, no knives on planes, clean water and safe food on board. The air we breathe matters and we stop the spraying of poisonous pesticides. The Association of Flight Attendants, stronger together, better together. The biggest video game event of the year is here, and Microsoft's head of gaming, Phil Spencer, announces big investments to content, new features, and of course, new games. We are making one of the greatest single-year investments in teams and talent by adding five new studios. We showcased more games than we've ever had before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Too often we are forced to choose between one amazing game over another. What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass. 
a way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. You will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. For more information, go to xbox.com. It's graduation season, and for those of you who are pursuing careers in information technology, there's some good news beyond the field's median income of nearly $90,000. You have a good chance of actually getting employment relevant to your education. While more than one in three college graduates suffer from mismatched employment, landing a great job in tech and negotiating a salary might be easier than you think. IT consultant and IT staffing provider Tech Systems surveyed 250 hiring managers across the United States, and they offered feedback on everything from what types of things to highlight in your background to emphasizing which job titles to pursue. They also shared some tips that may surprise you. Number one, 86% of them say the most important thing is your work experience and internships. So be sure to play those up in your resume. Earning a degree shows commitment and good work ethic, but potential employers really value anything you've done in the real world. Number two, 50% of hiring managers say that having top-notch references is either the most important or second most important thing in landing a job. So make sure you tell your references that your dream job is calling. Number three, your GPA is still important, but only 24% of hiring managers said it was a critical top consideration. Are you regretting turning down some of those parties now? Number four, the school you attended is even less important. Only 18% of hiring managers said that it was a top consideration. If you have an alma mater in common with your future bosses, or if you did a specialized program, your school may count a bit more toward locking down that career opportunity. Number five, another 10% surveyed say that your extracurricular activities are a top consideration when examining a candidate. 10% also say that ROTC or being in a military reserve program is a top consideration. And we've got all kinds of gifts for grads and dads when we come back from this short break. The Tech Show will be right back. Welcome back to The Tech Show. Choosing gifts to celebrate the perfect dad and deserving grad can be easier if you've got the advice of BehindTheBuy.com senior editor, David Gregg. So David, what activity do most dads like that would inspire a great gift idea? Most dads like to golf, even if they don't like their score. Back exclusively at Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy is the newly relaunched Tommy Armour Golf Clubs. This iconic brand is a perfect gift for dads looking to improve their game and at a lower price than other premium brands, so you can spoil them. The TA1 driver runs up to $200 less than comparable drivers and was designed in partnership with BMW's global creative consultancy, DesignWorks. The Impact Series Mallet Putter was rated on My Golf Spy's Best Value list and as Best Mallet Putter for 2018. This Father's Day, get Dad a phone case that provides incredible drop protection from OtterBox. Symmetry Series Incredibles cases are the perfect gift for the superhero dad just in time for the release of Incredibles 2. The stylishly slim Symmetry case series also comes in a variety of designs for the latest iPhone and Galaxy devices with graphics from Marvel Avengers, Star Wars Solo, and more. Certified OtterBox protection stands up to the wear and tear of dad's daily life, and the one-piece design is easy to slip on and off for quick switches between his favorite cases. For dads or grads at home or on the go, Lenovo's new Yoga 730 delivers the best in computing. Packed with productivity, gaming, and entertainment features, it includes a touchscreen, pen and inking capability, far field voice control mic technology, and a fingerprint reader. The Yoga 730 harnesses AI with two distinct voice enabled assistants featuring Alexa and Cortana built in. The 360 degree four position design switches from laptop to tablet, tent and stand, and the rapid charge feature provides two hours of power with just a 15 minute charge. Find it exclusively at Best Buy and Lenovo.com. 
Give dad a personal gift with an Ancestry DNA kit. It's a gift of self-discovery to explore his family's history. From uncovering connections to people, places, and migration stories, Ancestry DNA is about the power of family storytelling. Ancestry DNA results could inspire dad with a family heritage adventure or to uncover new cuisines and hobbies. Ancestry DNA opens a world of possibilities from discovering your ethnicity to connecting with distant relatives. Ancestry helps people find the story in their DNA. Visit Ancestry.com DNA to purchase a DNA kit for the sale price of $69 through June 18th. Polk Audio's new command bar is among the first voice-controlled sound bars featuring Amazon Alexa built in. Dads will love its powerful and rich sound, making it a top pick for his favorite movies and music. Integrated location-sensitive microphones and an intuitive volume-lowering feature deliver reliable voice control of the bar, smart products, and access to streaming music services. A dedicated HDMI port accommodates Amazon Fire TV and other streaming devices. Polk Audio Command Bar's big, dynamic sound and room-filling home theater experience is delivered by multiple full-range drivers and a wireless subwoofer along with Dolby and DTS for immersive listening. Here's to the father figures who inspire us and the grads who work so hard. Hey Alexa, throw it back to the studio. Thanks David and thanks Alexa and congratulations to the class of 2018. So this week on AppTech, we've got something really cool, the Like app, which has quickly reached 50 million downloads since launching last August. And we've got one of the most followed creators, social media influencer Jack Jerry, to tell us why he made the jump to the Like social media platform. Hi, Jack. I heard you recently moved to Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world. How's the West Coast? I'm loving the West Coast. Everybody out here is into social media, so we all have similar interests, and the weather is definitely a bonus. Being an influencer, you follow all the latest trends. What do you look for in a new social media app? What I look for is an app that is doing something that's totally different than any other app I have, and it allows its users to express their own creativity. What makes Like so different than other social apps? What makes Like different for me is three things. One, the special effects are like magic, and two, it's super easy to use. And three, I get to be a part of the most popular social video community, which is definitely pretty awesome. Why is Like so popular amongst the younger generation? I think Like is so popular because from the moment you open the app, you can automatically feel this magical experience. With effects like the superpowers, you can express your imagination and have your dreams of being a real life superhero come to life. So that's really cool. So I've downloaded Like and the tech is incredible. I like the dynamic stickers. What's your favorite? I would say my favorite like feature is the 4D Magic. With 4D Magic, they have really cool artificial intelligence technology that recognizes me and the background as two separate things. So I can change the background to whatever I want. I can go to outer space and I can change it to New York City if I wanted to. And me, myself, I can fly out of the screen like a rocket or disappear in a puff of smoke with a snap of your fingers. What has been your best experience with like? I would say the best experience for me is the whole app in general. When I wake up every morning, I look forward to making these awesome videos because it's so much fun to make. And to like is also global, so I get to connect with other people from around the world and not just in the United States. And seeing what everybody else is doing, it really pushes you to be more creative. And we get to participate in these challenges together, so we get to make funny videos. And it's just really cool to see what everybody around the world is making. Where can our audience download like and of course follow you? They can download Like, which is the fastest growing video platform on the Google Play Store, or they can go to the Apple App Store and download it from there. If you guys want to follow me on Like, you can follow me at Jack Jerry, and I want to be the first to welcome you to the Like family. Thanks so much, Jack. We have to sneak in a break, and when we come back, the robots are taking over. We'll be right back with more of The Tech Show. Is there a robot behind me? Is it taking over? This is a special report for people who want the facts about reverse mortgages without the hype. You've seen a lot of commercials telling you how you can turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. But do you really know if a reverse mortgage loan can help you? Call today. For a limited time only, we'll send you a free special report. There's no obligation, and the call is free. So don't delay. Call 1-800-837-5751. That's 1-800-837-5751. When I say Italy, what comes to mind? Venice. 
Capri, oh my gosh, Capri was marvelous. The views, the cliffside views, or traveling to Sorrento. Pirello tours. Oh, Pirello tours, for sure. Pirello. Hi, I'm Steve Perillo of Perillo Tours. With over 70 years of tour experience to Italy, it's no wonder Perillo Tours is synonymous with travel to Italy. I think of the culture, I think of Perillo Tours taking me to all of the areas that were important to me. The history and to walk up to certain areas and touch a wall and think, well, this wall is like 3,000 years old. Being on a Perillo Tour on our anniversary was better than anything I can remember ever on an anniversary. I personally approve every itinerary to ensure a stress-free, once-in-a-lifetime vacation. Salute! Call now for your free brochure and insider's guide. Call in the next 30 minutes and get this free $100 gift card. Call 800-219-0930, 800-219-0930. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. You don't go to college, college goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. And all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet, are included with tuition. Independence U for an independent you. 1 800 971 6972. Addiction brings unimaginable pain to those who are suffering from it and their loved ones. If you're battling addiction, we understand that you're hurting and we're here to help. Against all hope, you can get better and free yourself from addiction. You do not need to suffer any longer. Seek the treatment you deserve. Call the number on your screen and take the first step toward a lifetime of freedom and recovery. Call 800-985-7479. So the robot hordes are already here and our lives are being affected by automation right now and it's not going to slow down. So our friends at Forward Thinking discuss a modest proposal that counts billionaires Richard Branson and Mark Zuckerberg as big fans. In the future, will you draw a salary just for being you? Here at Forward Thinking, we've taken a look at some pretty disruptive technologies like 3D printing, artificial intelligence, automation. All of these have the potential to revolutionize our world, but revolutions aren't always smooth and painless. One of the big questions we have to answer is, how will we make money in a future where more and more of our jobs are taken over by the cold, unfeeling robotic hands of automated machinery? In a previous episode of Forward Thinking, we talked about a future where there is no such thing as money. It was the Star Trek economy. But if we're to get there, there's going to be some major changes that'll have to happen. And between now and then, one of those changes might be a guaranteed basic income. Now, the concept is pretty simple. A government will guarantee a certain amount of money to every eligible citizen. And generally speaking, it tends to be the amount of money that's around the poverty line for that country. The idea being that all of your basic needs, like shelter, food, clothing, would be met by this basic amount of money, and anything else you would want, you would have to go out and earn. This could be a huge help to people who are living below the poverty line. I think you can imagine that if you're homeless, it's very hard for you to get back on your feet if you don't know where you're going to be spending the night tonight. Imagine having just enough money so that you can cover those basic needs. That could give you the ability to go out and seek more work. And in fact, studies have bared this out. A study out of MIT and Harvard showed that giving money to people in impoverished nations in no way discouraged them from seeking out more work. So the fear that this would somehow create an entire population of lazy people seems to be unfounded. Other studies have shown that giving people money instead of money substitutes like food vouchers gives those people a sense of dignity and empowerment. So they do continue to try and seek out jobs or more education. And it frees you up to pursue other things like passion projects. In fact, a lot of technology enthusiasts envision a world with a guaranteed basic income that leads to an era of unprecedented innovation. But we have some big questions. The biggest being, will it work? Another being, how do you pay for it? How do you administer it? How do you make sure that the eligible people are actually getting the money they need? And the answer is, we don't know, because we haven't really tested it out yet. But 
In the next year or so, several different regions are going to be launching pilot programs to explore the possibility of basic income. They include Canada, Finland, Switzerland is having a referendum on the subject, and a nonprofit organization is looking to provide 6,000 Kenyans with basic income for between 10 and 15 years. This could be a long-term experiment to see what the ultimate impact is. And we have to keep in mind that even if basic income works in these pilot programs, it might not work everywhere. But we'll never know until we try. And the truth of the matter is we still have to think about this question because like it or not, one day automation is really going to displace a lot of people from the job market. While many might think a universal basic income is a wild idea that may devalue both work and money, we can look at Alaska, which has had a version of it since 1976. In their case, it's a dividend from the oil the state produces and averages $1,000 per month per person. So do you think we should go full steam ahead with automation and figure out the pesky human stuff later? Or should we intentionally slow down a bit so that these new grads can move out of their parents' houses? Let us know your thoughts on Twitter at The Tech Show TV. Take my money's up next when The Tech Show returns. Now it's time for Take My Money, where this week we look at an automatic toothbrush that claims to whiten your teeth in just 10 seconds. If I can save time in the morning by multitasking while brushing my teeth V-White, go ahead and take my money. Thank you for joining us this week. Follow us at The Tech Show TV and join the conversation. Tech you later.